I will merge three bodies and show a secret or uncommon method to merge bodies that I think is better. Um, but first I'll show the commonly used method. Bodies must touch each other if you want to merge them. Click the body you want to move. In the base tab, choose position, then set its position accurately. If you want to move it visually, right-click Body B, choose Transform. Make sure there's no gap at all. Just drag using the arrows to adjust the body's position. It's fine if it goes a bit too far or slightly overlaps. Even if they already touch, if we select all three bodies and export them for printing, the slicer will still detect them as three separate bodies even though they appear connected. You can see the print paths are separated between the three bodies. To merge them, the first method, choose one body that will act as the main body for the others. Body C is currently the active body, shown by bold text. I will choose body B as the main one. Double click it to make it the active body indicated by bold text. Hold control and click the bodies to select or deselect the ones you want to merge. Click boolean. And this gives an error because body A and body C are not touching. I'll explain this in more detail later and also show a method that is more error free. Now let's undo first, press Ctrl Z. Make body A the active body by double clicking it, then select body B and C. Click boolean. Choose fuse to merge the bodies. No need to add a new body because we already selected the bodies earlier. This time it will definitely work because body B is touching body C. Click OK. You can see earlier there were three bodies, but now they've been merged into a single body, and a boolean section appears in the tree view. Now I'll explain the second method, which I think is safer for the design and workflow. Undo again, press Ctrl Z. You can see it has returned to three bodies like before. Create a new body. I name it Merger. This body is only for merging, not for designing. Hide the other bodies just to make the flow clearer. Click a body and press the spacebar to show or hide it. Click body B. Click shape binder. I start with B first to show that this method is safe even if body B is selected first. Click body A, then click shape binder. Click body C, then click shape binder. The binders are transparent because they're only references to the selected bodies. We cannot export or print them when they're just references like this. Now hold control and click all three binders to select them. Be careful, body C is still selected because it was the last thing we clicked earlier. Keep holding control and click body C again to deselect it. Click boolean. Choose fuse if it's not selected yet. Click OK. The binders will turn into a solid object that can be printed. The advantage of this method is that we can modify the original bodies without affecting the others. For example, let's modify the triangle. Double click body C to make it the active body indicated by bold text. Then for instance I change it to a pentagon, I also add a hole in the center. You can see that when we modify body C, the merged result also updates. Click the merger body. Uh, after that, we can export it. And you can see the slicer detects it as a single body.